1985, a US F-15 jet successfully launched an anti-satellite missile, destroying a satellite in the only test of its kind. During the Cold War, the US explored using the F-15 to launch small payloads into orbit or intercept satellites, aiming to counter Soviet threats and enable rapid, flexible space launches without relying on vulnerable ground-based pads. Why was such an innovative plan, which pushed the boundaries of technology, discontinued in the late 1980s? The F-15, though not designed as a space launch platform, possessed unique capabilities that made it ideal for the task. As one of the most advanced fighter jets of its time, it could exceed altitudes of 60,000 feet and had powerful turbofan engines delivering 212 kilonewtons of thrust, enabling vertical acceleration and impressive climb performance. With a payload capacity of 7,257 kilograms, it easily accommodated the 1,179-kilogram space launch missile, making it a perfect choice for carrying and deploying rockets into space. Despite being a practical and innovative project, the program did not progress further for several reasons. The system was limited to handling lighter payloads and was effective only for low-Earth orbit targets, making it unsuitable for launching or targeting satellites in higher orbits. The system's operational constraints, including the need for specific weather and altitude conditions, further rendered it unsuitable for strategic use. The program faced international criticism for generating debris in low Earth orbit, which poses greater challenges compared to debris in higher orbits. Additionally, concerns about the militarization of space and the potential for an arms race led policymakers to reconsider the initiative. As the Cold War came to an end, the urgency to use the F-15 as a mobile space launch platform diminished. Furthermore, advancements in ground-based anti-satellite systems and scientific space launch technologies shifted US priorities away from using the F-15 for such purposes. In 2006, Boeing revisited the idea of using the F-15 as a cost-effective platform for launching small payloads into orbit by mounting a 45-foot rocket on its back. However, this approach posed significant risks to pilots as they would be unable to eject in an emergency. Furthermore, advancements in rocket technology and shifting priorities within the space industry ultimately led to the concept being abandoned, 